Hello everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in my new video. In this video, I am going to discuss about the design of circular column. Okay, in my previous video, I already discussed about the design of column footing. Okay, so this is these all are the given data for our uh, design of the circular column. So the diameter of the column is 600 mm. The axial load on a column is 2400 kilonewton. The column should be provided with the helical and longitudinal reinforcement. It is what our given data. So we need to use a M20 grade of concrete and FE4 of steel. The shape bearing capacity of the soil is 250 km per meter square. It is what a given data we have. Now, so first of all, whenever you wanted to design, when you wanted to design the circular column, first you need to design the gross. You need to know what what is the gross area of the column is. So the gross area of the column is given by the formula pi by 4 into d square. It is nothing but a, you can you can determine the area of the column. By using this simple formula, pi by 4 into d square. Okay, so we have the diameter of the column is a 600 mm, right? So we put the value over there. We get the gross area of the column. After that, we determine the what is the area of concrete in that overall the gross area. So for that, the is denoted by AC. AC is nothing but the area of concrete. So area of concrete we can calculate it by the gross area of column minus of the ASC. Okay, now after that we have the load which is which is to be service load as safe load. Okay, we know the body service load or the safe load, which is nothing but the the load present uh, available in the present scenario or the load is going to apply in a present scenario. But we need to make it as a for a we need to look forward for a structure for a future uh, um, for like if you wanted to design more structure above that. So we for that particular consideration we multiply. This load by 1.5. This is the service load. That means present requirement of the road. Okay, this is the availability of the present load. But what will be in the future if you are going to construct more load on that, more construction on that? So it for that we need to multiply. We made the uh, this load by multiply by 1.5. So we get the value 3600. That is called as a make the load as a factored. Okay, we also make always make the load factor for our safe case for our future construction. Okay, now. So the PU, this is the nothing but a uh, formula for a factored load, which is a real relation with the area of concrete, okay, and the area of ASC, okay. So PU is nothing but equals to 1.05 in bracket 0.4 FCK into AC plus 0.67 FY ASC equals to PU. I just put the value PU equals to over here. So relation is like just read from 1.05. In bracket 0.4 FCK AC plus 0.67 FY ASC equals to 3600 into 10 to the power 3. Okay, here kilonewton I converted into newton. So from with this relation, you can get the value in terms of like here AC. Okay, like 0.45 FCK AC plus 0.67 FY ASC equals to this value. Okay, like whatever over here, I just saw it. Okay, so and this 1.5 is getting divided to this value. Right. So after that, I get this value. Okay, three six double zero multiplied by ten to power three divided by one point zero five. I got this relation three four two eight point five seven into ten to power three. After that, what I did here, we know here two different variable AC and ASC. So we need to convert one variable in terms of like for that we make it as only one variable in the equation. So can we determine only one value? We can determine the value for a particular variable. So we have relation over here. So the overall gross area minus ASC is nothing but equals to AC. So we can replace the AC in term of this. So we provided over here. You can see, okay, AC is replaced by this value. ASC is as it is. So we have the variable ASC only single variable in our equation. So when we whenever we solve it, we got the value as a ASC four three two zero m square. So now we provide this is the what area of the steel. Okay, now this is area of steel we provided over here. From that we got the AC, like with gross area minus area of steel, we get the area of concrete. Okay, so with respect to this area, we can determine how much amount of the bar or how much amount of the diameter of bar we are going to provide. So I just wanted to provide 12, 22 mm bar in the overall section of the overall design of the circular column. So how many number of bar are required? For that the formula is S equals to AC equals to pi by 4 into diameter square, which is nothing but 20 22 square into x, where x is the numbers. If you know the numbers, if you want to provide a 10 bar only, then the formula will be AC equals to okay pi by 4 into x square into 12 or into 10, whatever you want number of. The n is a 
Okay, so pi by 4 into pi, uh, ARC equals to pi by 4 into diameter square into number. So that is what a formula. From that formula, we calculated this value. With respect to ASC, we determine the uh, bar, but we got the bar as 11.23. Okay, so from 11 bar is required, but 11.23 bar is required. So we cannot, we don't have 0.23 bar. We cannot use a 0.23 bar. So that's why we just use the 12 bars. So that's why what is a, this area is always less than this area because this is a required area and this is what the provided area we have. Okay, after that, as you completed the what is the area of the still required, what is the area of the concrete? Okay, after that, let us provide the 8 mm, 8 mm bar helical reinforcement. What is the helical reinforcement? Is helical reinforcement is nothing but the spiral one, okay, which uh, which which uh, which bound the uh, transverse reinforcement with each other. Okay, in circular column, the helical reinforcement is in terms of the circle, okay, which connect each and every bar transfer vertical bar okay in uh, with the so where they type with this helical reinforcement with this bar now the clear cover to the longitudinal bar the clear cover what we are going to provide is is 40 mm you can take it as a 50 also okay no issue clear cover to the helical bar is 40 minus 8 that means helical reinforcement is like this is a bar helical reinforcement coming from the outside so 40 minus of 8 so that is for that helical reinforcement the clear cover would be 32. Now, the core diameter we need to determine. What will be the core diameter? For that, the overall dimension of the column, the diameter of the column, minus of the both side clear cover, which is minus 2 into 32. Why I am not, I am not using the 40 clear cover for longitudinal bar is because this is a bar, okay, this is first bar, this is second bar, or here third bar. This is in a circular, which is a longitudinal bar, or a vertical bar. But for that vertical bar, the helical reinforcement is bounding all this helic, all this bar. So the first connection with the concrete is coming with with helical reinforcement. So we are providing the 40 mm, but we need to minus the helical reinforcement so that the 32 mm is a clear cover for our overall column. Okay. So if you determine the core diameter, so you need to minus like. From the diameter of the column, you need to minus the helical reinforcement clear cover from the both the side, from this side and this side, or you can say this side and this side. So it would be like 600 minus 2 into 32, which is nothing but 536 mm. Understood? Now after that, my next step is you determine the what is the pitch of the helical steel. Pitch is nothing but a distance from the from this helical reinforcement to the this helical reinforcement. Like this is what your uh, uh, longitudinal vertical steel helical reinforcement is in an always circular manner. So first circle, first ring with the sec first ring and second ring. The difference between the first ring and second ring is nothing but called as the pitch of the helical steel. Right. So there are there are some terms and conditions. There are some standard which we can we need to uh, we need to take in a consideration like. The helical pitch of the helical steel shall not exceed the 75 mm. So limitations are they need to make it as a 75 mm only. That is the maximum limit of the helical. The pitch is not more than 75 mm. Second, shall not be exceed one sixth of the core diameter. We have core diameter as a 536. So we make it as a one sixth. The core diameter is getting 89.3. So it is not accepted because we have limitation of only 75 mm. Shall not be less than 25 mm. Yes, the limit is. 25 to 75 not more than that not less than 25 not more than 75 so that is what the limit now shall not be less than the three times of the diameter of the helical bar we use helical bar as a 8 mm diameter so we make it as a three times so 8 multiplied by 3 it is getting 24 okay so it is also getting less so it is we don't have this is not satisfied this is not satis uh, this is not satisfied uh, though both though two terms are not satisfying so we consider as a 50 mm Okay, because no nothing is high. If it is 25, so we can take it as a 25. But there is no any satisfactory or satisfactory option for over here for us. So we consider as a 50, which is lagging, which is between the 25 and 75. You can take it as a 70 also. You can take it as a 60 also. Okay. Now, now the diameter of the column corresponding to the center of the helical steel would be. Okay. So now we need to determine what would be the diameter of the column. The we have the diameter column corresponding to the center of the helical steel is how much okay so the v minus the 6 v minus the clear cover from the um, 600 diameters so we got 536 again from that we need to minus the diameter of the helical steel so we get the overall exact dimension which is nothing but 528 which would be the center of the helical steel okay now 
for determination of the length of the helix per pitch length what is a helix the length of the helix the length of the helix means the one circle of the helical reinforcement okay so this circular of the is consists one length so this is overall circle of the helical reinforcement we need to determine so what would be the length of this circular ring so length of the circular ring is calculated by the formula under root of in bracket pi into the helical diameter of the column corresponding to the center of the helical steel over square plus the 50 square 50 is nothing but the pitch square so we get the length as a 1659.5 that means the length of one helical ring is 1659.5 mm okay now after that the volume of the helical steel per pitch length now we we know like we have the uh, what is a volume per pitch length we need to determine so spacing pitch distance, distance is 50 so 50 multiplied by the length of one one uh, helical ring is we get 82975 mm square that would be the volume of the uh, helical steel okay it is mm square not a meter square okay now the what is the area of core or area of core is nothing but pi by like the core area by deduction of the pitch uh, area to deduction by the pitch uh, steel area okay or the helical steel area and the deduction of the clear cover we have the 528 as a or 536 as a standard uh, dimension after uh, deduction of the clear cover so the area of the core core mean internal dimension dimension after deduction without excluding the um, clear cover is given by pi by 4 into d square so we get 22 uh, 2 lakh 22 25 mm square now what would be the volume of the core patch pit length we need to determine so volume is this is area multiplied by the pitch we got the volume of the core per pitch length we also got now we need to determine the ratio of the volume of the helical steel per pitch length divided by volume of the core per pitch length which is getting as a like this value 82 okay this value divided by this value we get the ratio of sorry we get the ratio of 0.00785 that is what the ratio of the volume of helical steel per uh, pitch length to the volume of the core length per pitch length. Okay. Now after that, we need to determine and uh, we need to determine this uh, uh, this value should not be less like this this value should not be less than 0.36 ag upon ak minus 1 f c k upon f y. So we put all the value we have we know ag we have ak okay minus 1 so we get all this value so 0 0.00413 so this value should not be less than okay here so you can see 0 0.00785 we have here we have 0 0.00439 so hence the provision for the helical it is satisfactory if this value is greater than this value so it, the provision for then the provision for the helical reinforcement helical reinforcement it is not satisfactory Right. So now, when what then in that case, what we need to do in that case, we need to provide the more pitch or less pitch. Okay, more pitch we need to provide. Sorry. Okay. So that is what the diagram. So here you can see the diagrammatical representation. So this is what the footing at the bottom, but here is what the main our column, a circular column design. So in circular column design, I told you we have the 600 mm dia. So this distance, like this, you can see over here. This is what a clear cover. Okay, so this is we provided how much 50 mm clear cover we provided. Okay, so our transfer like the vertical bar are we provided 12 numbers of 12 number bar we provided of one each one having a 22 mm diameter. Okay, and this helical like this, these are the x direction ring that you can see over here that are the helical bar with the pitch of pitch is nothing but a distance between both of them is 50 mm and they are having the dimension of the 8 mm bar. Okay, so now also this is what the footing area so we are not going to discuss we just in this video we design the uh, this vertical bar and the log need and this uh, transverse bar okay so i hope that you like my video okay if you wanted to know about these things so you need to uh, see my video of the design of the column footing uh, circular column footing you get to know about this uh, following diagram okay and thank you for watching my video please give a thumb to my video and yes, today, nowadays I'm uploading the English video of my father. Please look at that. You can learn uh, English very easily. Thank you. Thank you very much.